right, welcome back to TCC, and welcome to a video that I wasn't planning on making until sometime in August, maybe September. Um, Heavy Metal Tarna, Deluxe Avis box set, she is here. Um, it's, it's just kind of weird, like I said, I was not expecting this. She showed up um, a couple days ago, I just, I'm finally getting around to doing this now. I pre-ordered this like well over a year ago. Um, I, I was really, really excited for it. It's it's from the same people that uh, made the the Lady Death figure. We did a review on that before. Um, they're like the, I have Hellwitch pre-ordered. She's coming out at some point, maybe <laughs> at some point. Uh, and, you know, they have like the Vampirella, Red Sonya, all these other ones. They're really, really cool. They're really, really nice figures. A little pricey, um, but for the most part, they look really good. But anyways, yeah, this I pre-ordered this. Yeah, well over a year ago now. Um, and she was supposed to, like, it was like this whole thing, like, oh, she's going to ship next month, she's going to ship next month, and every month turned into next month, and that month turned into next month, and so on and so on and so on. Um, she, yeah, like like I said, the last I heard, she wasn't even supposed to ship until August, so I was expecting maybe September. Um, but then, lo and behold, I get a, like, a random package dropped off, like, I see the UPS truck outside, I'm like, I wasn't expecting anything today, but okay, cool. I thought maybe it was like a dorkside order or something. And no, lo and behold, I opened this up, and, uh, I mean, the box was completely smashed. Like, you can see there's, like, damage on the corners here. It was pancaked, so I, I am shocked that it is still as nice as it is right now, how this looks. Um, but yeah, Heavy Metal Tarna is here. This is, um, who the hell made this? Loose Collector or Executive Replicas, or maybe both of them? One or the other. I think I ordered this from Executive Replicas and not Loose Collector this time. I, 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 honest to God, I can't remember. Um... But yeah, it looks good. The box set looks nice. Um, she's looking very like Amelia Clark right here. I, I seen that. My fiance pointed that out, and uh, now I kind of can't unsee it. It's really good artwork. It looks nice. Um, some nice comic style art on the sides, and then obviously you have your VHS slash DVD slash Blu-ray heavy metal cover photo right there. Looks really good. I mean, obviously, you can't beat the old heavy metal art. Oh, uh, yeah, here it is. Exactly, Replicas and Loose Collector. So, both of them, or one or the other. Again, more cool comic art on the side. I'm trying to get this all in frame, but I only have so much room to work with. Oh, and yes, I do have a new background. It, it, it's okay. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it. It looks nice. It looks professional, but the... Like, the photos on the listing were a little misleading. Uh, just a barcode on the bottom. So, yeah, she's here. Let's uh, crack it open and take a look. Uh, okay, just a quick heads up. Uh, when you open this, don't open it vertically because it is not <laughs> secured in any way, shape, or form. There's no tape. There's no anything. So I pulled this out of the box and it just went, <laughs> it just fell over. Um, all of this stayed in, which is good. But yeah, Ava's just kind of flopped out, so... Just a quick heads up, if you get this, it will just fall out of the box on you, so be careful. Okay, so figures out of the box, and uh, I was messing with it for a little bit. Not gonna lie, this is uh, not great. Um, so, this thing cost like $120. Like It was like $99.99, um, and then it was just an unavoidable... 20 something dollar shipping fee which okay fine um i honestly feel like if you ordered it direct from the manufacturer like that and you're paying over a hundred dollars they should have just shipped it for free that's just me or at least a, a smaller shipping amount whatever um this figure is not great <laughs> is the best way i can put it it's uh nothing like what the pictures show and I'll, I'll put some pictures up of what I was expecting to get and what I actually received. And this feels more like a prototype. Or maybe I just wasn't even supposed to get this. <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, Avis is fine. We'll go over him in a little bit. Like, everything on him is okay. It's not the best figure. I don't see in what reality adding him to the package makes it worth over $100. He's a basically a glorified figure stand but like i said we'll get to that in a minute um so obviously the star of the show here is tarna and uh what a star she is so right off of the bat 
the face looks nothing like it did in the promotional pictures, which I understand happens from uh, concept and prototype and promotional images to in hand. But for something that costs this much money and for something that I have been hyped for and waiting for for over a year now, uh, this is incredibly disappointing. I am not going to lie. Uh, they added two heads because I remember there was a thing. They're like, oh, we're going to add a uh, uh, wavy hair or flat hair. Maybe it was one of the other. It was one of the other. They were going to add some hair uh, and they're like, oh, we'll make it a swappable hair piece. I'm really wondering why, because these heads are identical. Like, there's nothing different about these. And from what I remember, I'm going to have to look this up again, but, like, the the one head looked, it was, like, slightly stern, and then the other head was, like, maybe she had a smirk or something. Like I said, I'll have to pull up the pictures, but I don't know if I was supposed to get this like this or if this is just how they're all going to ship out. But, again, they look nothing like the pictures, which is really disappointing. And so I guess this is kind of like 0 for 2 on Tarna figures. Because if I don't know if anybody would remember one of our older like subscriber special videos. We got, um, it was like a Toy Wiz or something. I can't remember. Figbiz. I don't remember who it was, but it was a, a, a 3 and 3 quarter Tarna that we got. That I was actually really excited for. And we got it and it was absolute trash. This isn't trash. It's just, uh, it's not great. So first thing, like I said, the likeness sucks. It doesn't really look anything like the, the promotional pictures. This hairpiece that they have, while I, I, I appreciate that you can swap the hair out, like uh, this one is not as bad. So when you get this head out of here. So when you put the wavy hair on, it's not terrible. It looks okay. Um, it seems really short for Tarna. I'm just going to throw that out there. It's okay, but the the relaxed hair, like the, the main one that I'm, I, I would probably be more likely to use, it just looks like a wig. Like you can see, like there's big, there's like gaps and everything. Like no matter how hard I push this down, there's still weird gaps all the way up to the forehead. So it just, it just looks like she's like a chemo patient wearing a wig, which is really disappointing. Um... Again, like, I, like, this is something, like, I probably would just gloss over on, like, a Hasbro figure. I'd be like, oh, yeah, that looks kind of crap, but whatever. Because it was, like, $22, $24, whatever. This cost me over 100 bucks. Like, this is, like, a, a, a collector specialty, like, boutique item. Like, this is, this is, like, supposed to be next level top notch. So, like I said, the faces look like shit. This one, this one is really matte. And then this one is really glossy, so they don't even match... The eyes don't even match. Like, look at that. The eye color is different. Everything on this is just different. Like Matte, gloss, different eye colors. But it's the same exact expression. It's the same exact mold. I... Oh, whatever. So, anyways, moving on to the next thing. Nice. Nice uh, $100, $100 figure here. Nice. Yeah, great. It's just... Uh... A loose piece of shit. Great. Thanks, loose collector. Thanks, executive replicas. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted to wait over a year to get this figure that I spent over $100 on to get it. And it looks like crap. And it feels like crap. Oh, lovely. Isn't that just great? Look at that. On top of the ridiculous looking ass on this thing. But I'll get to that in a minute. So... I'm just going to take this hair off. I don't even care. Whatever. We'll do bald Tarna. So, this is the next thing that really jumped out at me. And it jumped out at me in the package where I was like, oh, maybe it's just like the plastic playing tricks. No. Um, that's supposed to be skin shading. And again, it looked way better in the promotional pictures. This looks like she just has a nasty sunburn. Like, this looks terrible. She has a rash. She has a sunburn. It looks like absolute shit. Like, again, in the promotional pictures, like she, it was, like, nice. There was shading in all the right places, like, like uh, on the sides of the breasts, on, like, the little crevices on the arms, onto the hands. Like, this this just looks like she either, she either has some sort of rash or she spent a little bit too much time out in the sun. It looks terrible. It's not even in all the right places to, like, oh, okay. 
Um, moving down to the things that I actually do like. One, I like how they do their thigh articulation because it doesn't break the mold at all. Like, it's down towards the bottom of the thigh here. Uh, I do like that it is technically... Or, no, never mind. You just had to fidget with it. It, it is, it is. I mean, yeah, technically, but it is double-jointed el or elbows. Oh, my God. I'm so frustrated with this thing. Double-jointed knees, which, yeah, okay, that's cool. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I thought maybe at first there was toe articulation, but there isn't. That's not really a big deal. Uh, toe articulation is, is kind of take it or leave it. It does have your standard kind of action figure little thing here for the feet. Um... The uh, rocker, rocker joint. Oh my god, I, I, I can, I'm just, I'm so frustrated with this thing. I just keep thinking about how much money I paid for it, and just how now I have it in hand, how disappointed I am. So I'm like, I'm completely losing my train of thought. Um, it's okay. You get a little bit of range, a little bit of range. Like, it's whatever. Uh, the hands look terrible. Just they don't look great. Um, but yeah, I like the boots. The boots are nicely shaded and painted, and like. They didn't fuck up the black on the, the legs. Um, the thong looks okay. I really hate how they do the asses on these female characters, though. Uh, it just, it looks ridiculous. It's this big, bulbousy part. And so, like, when you do anything, like, it's, it just looks wrong. There's some shading. There's some shading where it actually should be shaded. <laughs> yeah, this this will be the thumbnail. Like, oh my god, I don't know what's going on down in the in the crevice there. That looks horrifying. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm I, yeah. Even from Lady Death, I'm still not a fan of how they do the butts on these. It's just it goes in too much. It sticks out too much. There's nothing on like the lower thighs, so it just it looks weird when you're moving them. <sighs> Whatever. Uh, like the armor, like all of this looks good. Like the armor, they did like a like a uh, airbrush on it. It, it. Like the leather looks okay. At least the buckles are painted, and it's. I mean, it's kind of not sloppy. They missed some. You can see some of the buckle is just painted flesh tone. And again, this is stuff where it's like if this was a uh, like a Marvel Legends. Or a black series be like oh yeah that's irritating but whatever it was it was less than 30 bucks this was over a hundred dollars uh, we'll go over to the hair i'm not the biggest fan of the gray i, I don't know i i don't even really know what i'm expecting at this point i'm mostly just really disappointed <laughs> uh it's it's it looks fine for what it is it still looks like a wig um I guess, uh, for whatever reason, like I said, they they gave you a swappable head that doesn't matter because it's the same exact head. I'm really just wondering if I got an incredibly defective one. I thought the whole point of having another head was that it would be different than the one that it came with by default. I guess not. Like I keep saying, I'm wondering if I just got a bad one. <sighs> I mean, like, the face is fine. It's just my main gripe is that it doesn't look anything like what they showed. It, uh, whatever. Um, so moving on to probably the biggest slap in the face, I would say, of this whole thing. And she has some alternate hands we'll get to in a second. This is terrible. This sword? Like, I know this is, is pretty much what it looks like, but god damn, like, could they have put any less effort into it? This is just... I mean, it came out of the box warped anyways. <sighs> Whatever, but it's just so boring. And, like, again, for something that costs over a hundred freaking dollars. And then this. This is cool. This is just in the box. Completely warped. So if I wanted to put this sword in here... It's going to warp it, and it doesn't even... Oh, my God. Yeah. So... Oh, it gets stuck in there. Jesus. So this is supposed to clip onto the belt. I love how freaking loose this goddamn figure is. Thanks. Uh, this is supposed to clip on the belt, and... That looks okay, I guess. It's clipped on the belt. Um... I'm going to have to heat it up and straighten it out, I guess. 
hundred dollar figure right out of the box i have to do repairs on that's fun i'm gonna have to take this whole thing apart and figure out how to keep it from doing this <laughs> all right so she's got alternate hands um let's slap these on real quick oh my god and it just uh i think i just broke it so that's cool um hundred dollar figure all right uh moving on to avis it's a big freaking turkey thing uh it's got wings so i'm assuming these go on like this I, you know i honestly don't even care so all right that's in god these are tough to pop in oh my god all right and then he's got little tail feathers um look like they're coated so shouldn't be too hard to uh, i'm doing this right right yeah there you go let's save this cool <sighs> messed up my backdrop um yeah waited over a year for this good times whatever um don't buy this don't buy it i was i was so hyped for this fucking thing uh check i i, I would check i would check my inbox and I would check on the site. And be like, when's that tarnish ship? And when's that tarnish ship? And I'm so excited for that tarnish figure. It looks so good. I was I was checking it like every other week for a while. Then I, I was, oh, you know, I'll just, I'll try and forget about it for like a month. Whatever. I mean, it was supposed to ship last freaking year. Last year. And it's like, okay, fine. I understand COVID, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then it was supposed to ship in January. And then February. And then March. And then April. And then May. And then June. And then August. So I've been, I, I printed this last, like last April, I think something like that. Been waiting over a year. And this is what I get. Like it, it's, it looks like crap. Um, it broke just trying to change one of the hands. The hand just snapped. Um, and I probably won't even be able to get a refund. So or a replacement. That's fun. Um, you got a swappable head that's almost identical to the other head that it comes with, except this one's greasy and the other one's not. Um, the hair looks like a wig. The sword looks like a cheap toy. Like, I mean, I know this is a toy, but like in the terms of of what this is, this comes out all warped. This this is probably where most of that money for the freaking box set is, and this is literally just a glorified figure stand. This is this is all that he can do. He can move his stupid feet and his stupid head. And I I was never the, this wasn't like the selling point for the box set. That was just like a nice bonus, anyways. It was about the Tarna figure. Um, the Tarna figure is a piece of shit. Looks like it doesn't look anything like. The promotional pictures, and like I said, comes out of the box just loose, loose. Hundred fucking dollars, man. And I try not to swear when I make these videos, but man, man, you know, like it's like I keep saying, I wouldn't complain this much for over like a twenty dollar Hasbro figure, but when you're buying specialty stuff and it comes in like this, just so low effort and just like man we don't give a shit you're gonna get what you get oh that pisses me right off that really pisses me off don't buy this i know i, I like i was i was so hyped for this figure this is why i'm so upset i was so excited for this figure it's like heavy metal i love heavy metal i love tarn i've always loved tarn i love the designs i love the movies i love the i used to read the magazines when i was a kid when i shouldn't have the comics and, and all that stuff heavy metal 2000 whatever i was so hyped for this figure and uh yeah this is what i get 
I guess it just goes to show you. Just, life is just nothing but disappointment. Um, I was supposed to be hyped for this review. I was supposed to be excited. I was going to take pictures and whatever. I, whatever. I'm over it. I guess I got to start sending emails. Trying to get a replacement or a refund. They'll probably try and charge me or something. Whatever. Review's over. Go home.